Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. One of the most common mistakes we see a lot of people make when warming up from the short court is that they're hitting the balls way too hard and way too far. Now obviously they're trying to hit the ball with the right power and trying to hit it softly so the opponent can return it properly. But what they do wrong, and which is why they can't control their shots, is they're using a huge super long backswing just like on a regular ground stroke and then try to hit the ball softly from there. Now this creates a couple of problems. It makes it really difficult to time first of all, but also because people are used to hitting hard from back there, if they're not trying to swing softly, they're trying to time it the same way, start their swing uh, with a slow swing, and then notice that they're gonna be late if they keep going like this. So then they start to accelerate into the ball and the ball goes too far. So instead of doing that, you want to actually keep your backswing short and make sure that you have a complete follow through so you can practice your technique with the upper body rotation even from, from the short court without losing control over the depth of your shots. In conclusion, in order to control how hard you want to hit a ball, you want to adjust your backswing, the length of your backswing. So for a very soft shot, you almost have no backswing. All you do is trying to lower your racket depending on how much spin you want to put into the ball and then you follow through with a complete swing. Now the harder you hit, the longer the backswing will get going all the way to a complete backswing for a full power ground stroke from the baseline. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.